How to change inserts on your Moorbark Woodhog Horizontal Grinder. Replacing damaged or worn inserts in your Woodhog gives you the ability to perform at its best and will extend the life of your machine as well. The tools you will need to complete this task include a 1 and 1 8 inch or 1 and 5 16 inch socket, depending on the model of Woodhog you are working on. Today, we are working on Moorbark 6400 XT Woodhog and will be using an impact gun, a torque wrench, a paint marker, your lockout tagout. Before beginning, ensure that you and anyone else who will be performing maintenance on the equipment is wearing the proper personal protective equipment. This includes a high visibility safety vest, a hard hat, ear protection, and OSHA approved safety glasses with side shields. All clothing should be close fitting and tucked in. Wear a good pair of work pants and a good pair of steel toe work boots with non-slip soles. Proper fitting leather work gloves are also recommended to protect the worker's hands. Before beginning, it is also important that you make sure that the work area on and around the equipment is free of debris and trip hazards and that the equipment is on level ground. With the machine running, make sure all hydraulic control valves are in the neutral position and that the clutch is disengaged. Ensure that the rotor has come to a complete stop before performing any maintenance. Failure to do so can result in serious injury or death. Locate the hood and yoke controls and turn the yoke up selector switch clockwise or to the right to raise the yoke. Once the yoke is raised, continue to hold the selector switch in the up position while simultaneously turning the yoke lock selector switch clockwise to engage the yoke locks. Then, shut down the engine and perform the lockout tagout procedure. Upon entering the infeed, verify that both yoke locks have fully engaged. Inspect the components in the grinding chamber, including the inserts, hammers, anvil, grates, rakers, and mill chamber for any signs of wear. Partially worn inserts can be flipped for additional life or can be replaced with a new insert. To remove the insert, use the impact wrench, remove nuts, and pull the insert from the hammer. Ensure the mating face is clean and undamaged. The mating face should be square, not rounded, and should not have any noticeable chips. If any damage is noticed, repair or replace the damaged hammer. Placing both bolts into the insert, slide the bolts through the holes in the hammer and ensure that the insert sits flush to the hammer face. Failure to follow this step properly could result in an improper fit of the insert to the hammer and could cause a failure. Install the nuts by hand onto the bolts and fasten using the impact wrench. Properly torque the bolts according to the specifications provided in the operator manual. Mark each bolt and insert after torquing with the paint marker so you know it has been properly torqued. Repeat this process for all inserts needing to be flipped or changed. After all necessary components have been serviced, verify all personnel and tools are clear of the machine and remove your lockout tagout. Turn on the main battery disconnect. Turn and hold the ignition key to initiate starting the engine. The safety horn will sound for five seconds prior to starter activation. Lastly, turn the yoke up selector clockwise to raise the yoke and simultaneously turn the yoke lock selector counterclockwise to retract the yoke locks and release the yoke up selector. Once the yoke has lowered, the machine is now ready to resume operation.